uh, okay so hello everyone uh, my name is kunal and i'm your mathematics tutor and uh, today we are going to start uh, our uh, new chapter of uh, standard 12 which is named as probability so i'm hoping that you all already uh, have some ideas about uh, the chapter probability uh, you already uh, read this chapter in uh, your standard 11th so uh, i'm first recapping the whole things you apne cover kari uh, in class 11 and then we will move to the uh, the new topics and equation kinds okay so uh, this is our first lecture okay so uh, this is actually the uh, mathematics of chances okay this may apan kya karte na ki chance kisi cheez ki hone ki kitne ki chances hai uh, us pe apan discuss kar rahe hote hai theek hai ye aapko pehle se i think pata hoga and uh, then we will uh, discuss some topics like sample space ye sab ko aata hoga ye kya hota hai events kya hote hain then iske uh, jitne bhi kinds humne pad rahe honge like uh, mutually exclusive complementary exhaustive and independent and dependent these kind of thing apne pad rakha hoga and then uh, aapko ek uh, some ideas honge like dice ke bare mein <coughs> kitne possibilities hoti hain agar ek dice thrown ho do dice thrown ho unke sample space kaise likhte hai hai na formulas wagaira like shortcut formulas wagaira aapko aate honge then you will all know about the cards thing cards jo hoti hain uh, a deck of card this may uh, 52 cards hoti hai. uh, it's of two color this may red aata hai and black card hoti hai. and then red card of two kinds first of uh, heart and the second of diamond similarly the black has two kinds of card one called spades and other called clubs and each uh, sub card has 13 cards which is named as king queen jack ace and from 10 to Two, right and uh, like king queen and jack called face card because uh there is a picture in the card okay and the rest of the cards were uh like uh, uh have not any kinds of picture okay kisi bhi humans ki picture nahi hoti hai, but face card mein kya hoti hai? picture bani hoti hai. so that's why it's called as face card and aapne problem bhi discuss kare honge okay and then yahan pe uh, events pe humne baat kari to isme probability of a intersection of b equal to probability of a uh, into probability of b hoti hai a complementary ka matlab hota probability ek event ke hone ka plus probability us event ke na hone ka jo sum aayega wo one aayega exhaustive event will be something like ki there were n events and agar sare event ka union lete hain so it will be equal to the sample space of that event ठीक है जैसे अगर हेड एक क्वाइन को फ्लिप करते हैं सो देयर आर टू पॉसिबिलिटी हेड एंड टेल सो इफ यू टेक द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ हेड यूनियन टेल सो इट विल बी इक्वल टू द एक्चुअली सैंपल स्पेस राइट सो दिस इज एक्चुअली द एग्जॉस्टिव इवेंट इंडिपेंडेंट इवेंट सॉरी आई थिंक आई डिड सम मिस्टेक हियर इन म्यूचुअली एक्सक्लूसिव पी इन पी ए इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ बी इक्वल टू 0 एंड इन इंडिपेंडेंट इवेंट इट विल बी इक्वल टू uh probability of a into probability of b so this is the thing okay so ye sari cheeze aapne aur fir aapne uh two events pe bahut saare formula dekhe honge like probability of a union b only a and all bahut saare fir fir waise hi aapne three events pe dekhe honge bahut saare a bunch of uh, formulas hai na to ye sari cheeze ya fir de morgan's law aapne padhi hogi theek hai to ye sari cheeze thi na ye basic thi जो आपने 11th में करा होगा ठीक है सो अ इन टुडेस क्लास आई एम होपिंग दैट आपको वो सारे कांसेप्ट आते हैं और अगर नहीं आते हैं सो यू कैन गो थ्रू द प्लेलिस्ट ऑफ प्रोबेब चैप्टर प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ क्लास 11 ओके सो आई एम अज्यूमिंग दैट कि आप कि आपने वो सारे प्रॉब्लम्स आती हैं एंड वी आर नाउ गो थ्रू द एक्चुअली some of the examples so uh, we are assuming ki aapko ye at, at least wo chodo at least ye events ke bare mein to aati hongi theek hai and then we learn some new topics 
<clears throat> okay so let's start the today's class with some examples and one more thing i tell you in uh, the last lecture which is of standard 11th ki uh, kabhi bhi koi bhi problem agar aa rahi ho uh, there were agar wo independent events nahi hai so you can uh, make its venn diagram and uh, try to solve e, uh, e, because the bahut sare formula jaate hain so it will be irrelevant to remember the all of these formulas okay so utne sare formula aapko yaad nahi rakhni hai just go through the venn diagram venn diagram aapne banani hai and uh, usse analyze karna hai cheezon ko and then you have to reach to the final answer okay so let's get through the example so there is example uh, for three events are uh, named as a b and c uh probability of exactly one of the event one of the events a or b occurs is equal to probability of exactly uh one of the event uh b or c occur is equal to probability of uh, exactly one of the event probability of exactly one of the events uh c or a occurs uh is equal to small p okay and uh, probability uh all the three events let me write it in a good way probability uh all the three events uh occur simultaneously is equal to small p square uh where uh the p varies from 0 to 1 by 2 this is actually given then you have to find then find the probability then find the probability of uh, at least one of the event one of the three events a b and c occurring is okay so this is the thing that you have to find okay so uh, first analyze the situation and the question as well so what is actually given okay so there is three events like a b and c and the probability of uh, exactly the probability of happening the exactly one of the events like ya to a hoga ya to b hoga agar a hoga to b nahi hoga aur b hoga to a nahi hoga okay is equal to small p same as probability of exactly one of the event b or c agar b hoga to c nahi hoga and c hoga to b nahi hoga exactly same as agar c hoga to a nahi hoga and a hoga to c nahi hoga and this all equal to this probability small p and the sare events ko ek saath hone ka is the probability is p square and the values varies from uh, and the value of p is varying from uh, 0 to 1 by 2 then you have to actually find the probability of at least one of the event a b c occurring okay so that means uh, actually you have to find you have to find probability of a union b union c okay so this is the thing that you have to find so first thing what you have to do first make the venn diagram to understand the situations so let me make it here there is three event so you have to make a uh, three circle here okay and just name them like this is as a this region as b this region as c this region as d this region as e this region as f and this region as z so uh, in first case uh, according to question the first case what is given actually exactly one of the event a or b occurs okay that means if a is occurring then b is not and if b is occurring then a is not okay and its probability is equal to small p so let us uh, assume that if a is occurring so let's uh, trace the reason actually so the first thing is if a is occurring b is not so if a is occurring and b is not so the reason is a plus f 
A is occurring, but B is not. So this is our A region. This is our B region and this is our C. So the B region is lies like in this way. Okay. So A plus F is our the region in which A is occurring, but B is not. So there will be like A plus F. Similarly, A is not occurring, but B is occurring. So the when B is occurring, but A is not, so A is actually lying in such a way. So the only region is C plus D. So C plus D is equal to P. This is our equation one. Let's move to the second according to the equation. What is it? Uh, probability of exactly happening of the B or C. Okay, the same thing for B and C. So probability of occurring of B and not of C plus probability of not occurring of B and occurring of C is equal to P. Okay, so uh, now let's move to the B and C event. So actually B is occurring. But C is not, but C is lying in this region. Okay. So here we get B plus C. And when B is not occurring and only uh, C is occurring, so this region. So we will get G plus F is equal to P. This is our second equation. And similarly, for, uh, here also, like uh, exactly one of the events, C or A is occurring. So let's move for C and A. So when A is occurring, C is not occurring, right? and when uh, A is not occurring, then C is occurring, and its probability is small p. So let's move to the uh, A and C region. In this region, we are talking about, so when A is occurring and C is not, so this is the region actually A plus B1, because when E and F is the region in which C is lying, so A plus B, and uh, a is not occurring, but C is occurring. So A is not occurring. So we have to neglect that and there will be like G plus D. So let's uh, add it and we will get P. So uh, when we add equation 1, 2 and 3 and one more thing I think is there is given uh, the probability of happening of all the events simultaneously. Okay. So E, e is the reason where all of the three will happen. Okay, D and E is the region in which uh, C and B is happening together. Uh, B and E is the region where A and B is happening together. And E and F is the region where A and C is happening together. But we have to find like A, B, C, all of the three events happening simultaneously. The region is E. So here the value, one more thing is given. E is equal to P square. This is equation third and this is equation number four. Okay, I hope this question will clear to all of you. What I'm trying to say is key there, there is something given. Look at here. Exactly one of the event A or B occurs. So either A can occur, then B nay hoga. But if B hoga to A ni ho sakta. Hai. So I just write the reason. Pe dekho. Agar A ho ra hai, to A ka region kya A, B, E, F. And B ka region kya C, B, E, D. So if A is happening, that means B is not. So this region of B and E will be removed. That's why A plus F. Similarly, I am doing for the all. And the third and the fourth case is saying that all of the events will happen simultaneously. So E is the reason where all of the event is happening simultaneously. And its probability is given as P square. Okay. So this is the thing. Now add equation 1, 2 and 3. So what we will get actually? Let's add it. So we'll get uh, there is A. There is also A, you know. So uh, I think everything is two two times. So B B two times, C two times, and uh, D is two times. And uh, there is not E, but we can do E also. Okay. And uh, there is F two times. Okay. So what we'll get? We'll get two times of A plus B plus C plus D plus F. Okay, and plus G is equal to 3 of P. Okay, now this is our equation number 5. What we have to find? We have to actually find the A intersection of B intersection of C. At least one of the three event happening. So we have to find actually A intersection of B intersection of C, which is actually equal to A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F plus G. And uh, this value is actually equal to 
a plus b plus c plus d plus f plus g is equal to 3p by 2 and we have to e add as uh, we have to add the term e as well so it will equal to 3p by 2 plus p square because from equation 4 the probability of happening is that so, so this is our probability a union b union c i hope this problem uh, is clear to all of you like what i'm trying to say is okay so okay uh now let's move on to the uh, uh realistic problem you can see that the event is not clear nahi ho rahi hai. A, B, C event le le rahe and then we are assuming the cases ki, uh, like jo, uh, ki three events are so dono matlab, exactly uh, kisi ek events ki probability something P so sab ke hone ki possibilities kya hai, probabilities kya hai. Ye cases apan dekh rahe hai. okay now let's take a, a re, uh, basically a realistic situation or cases uh, based on uh, based on your cities okay so let's assume the thing and start okay so let's uh, take the like uh, newspaper problem aap sabne dekha hoga ki ya phir, uh, there is a advertisement like uh, and uh, they there is some chart is formed like in this way like uh, Something like that. Ki, uh, this uh, India's most popular newspaper is something X Y Z, and then its uh, basically customer acquisition hai, jo jitne customer ko acquire kar rakha hai, it's something like fifty seven percent, and the rest are uh, whatever it is uh, forty three percent and all. Okay, so these sari cheez jo cases thi, aapne dekh rakha hoga. Advertisement board वगैरह लगे होते हैं ना on near railway stations and airports and all हाँ या फिर normal सी like वो जो holding boards वगैरह होते हैं वहाँ पे लगा होता है कि India के most popular newspaper जितना जिसकी customer acquisition जो है वो इतनी है and all ये सारी लगी होती है now the things is कि same problem we are dealing uh, in our uh, today's problem and uh, we have to we have as a mathematician, okay, we have to analyze that and we have to find some probability based on selling of newspaper. Okay, so uh, let's uh, try uh, with some problems. So uh, look at here. The question is of types like, uh, I'm talking about the city Delhi. So uh, in Delhi, let me write it in a clear way. So uh, in Delhi, uh, let us suppose 42% uh, of the people uh, read uh, Times of India, okay, TOI, and 51% uh, people read uh, Hindustan Times, <coughs> okay, and uh, now these are some english paper and now let's uh, talk about some uh, hindi uh, paper as well okay so uh, 68 percent uh, read uh, basically dj okay whatever it's called danik jagran and all and uh, 30 percent read times of india and uh, Hindustan Times, 28% actually people here, yeah, so you can understand, and 28% people uh, read Hindustan Times and uh, TJ, okay, and 36% uh, of uh, people read First, I'm actually writing the question and then I'm going to elaborate it to you. So don't worry, okay? And 36% of people read Times of India and uh, DJ. And 8% uh, 
एट परसेंट पीपल डजेंट रीड एनी ऑफ देम ओके दे मे बी रीड सम मैगजीन काइंड ऑफ थिंग ओके सो वन पर्सन इज सेलेक्टेड वन पर्सन इज एक्चुअली सेलेक्टेड एट रैंडम so uh, you have to find the uh, as a mathematician you have to find the probability that uh, there are several questions so let me write it in a one by one so the first question is he read all three newspaper and the second thing is he read newspaper the third problem is uh, uh, he read actually times of india but not hindustan times He reads Times of India, but not Hindustan Times. Fourth, uh, DJ, but not Hindustan Hindustan Times and Times of India. He reads uh, DJ, but uh, not Hindustan Times and Times of India. Fifth problem is something like uh, he reads exactly one of the newspaper. He reads exactly one of the newspaper, <clears throat> and the sixth is, uh, he reads exactly two of the newspaper. It's a big problem, right? So actually, this kind of problem may be asked in your uh, boards or sometimes in like some some parts in J mains as well. So okay, you actually you have to know like how to solve this problem. But let's uh, first try to understand this problem. He, uh, what's the question is actually asking here, and uh, then we are move to the next thing. Okay, so uh, here's the baat hi ho rahi hai ki in Delhi different uh, jo newspapers ki jo publishers hain, wo apni apni chizo ko publish karte hain. Take it in people, in matlab logo mein. and we are assuming some three or four kinds of newspaper here the first one is times of india second is hindustan times third newspaper is hindi newspaper which is known as dainik jagran what i am trying to say is there were 42% of the delhi people read times of india newspaper 51% of the people read hindustan times whereas 68% of the Delhi people read Dainik Jagran, and the thirty percent of the people read both Times of India and Hindustan Times as well. You get the book. If you are analyzing the real situation, as a, जरूरी नहीं है कि किसी घर में सिर्फ एक ही newspaper आ रहा हो. It's maybe कि I am um जो मैं हूँ वो तीन तीन newspaper मंगा रहा हूँ. ये भी हो सकता है कि मैं हिंदुस्तान टाइम्स भी मंगा रहा हूँ टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया भी मंगा रहा हूँ एंड दैनिक जागरण भी मंगा रहा हूँ या फिर ये हो सकता है कि मैं आई यूज टू रीड इंग्लिश न्यूज पेपर सो मैं दोनों इंग्लिश न्यूज पेपर मंगा रहा हूँ हिंदुस्तान टाइम्स एंड टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया ठीक है इट्स डिपेंड ऑन पर्सन टू पर्सन सो दट्स बेस्ड ऑन रियल प्रॉब्लम है एग्जैक्ट प्रॉब्लम है सो यू हैव टू एनालाइज इन रियल वे सो वट एम ट्राइंग टू सेज देर थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ दी पर्सन पीपल हु रीड्स Times of India and Hindustan Times. There are twenty-eight percent of the people who reads the Hindustan Times and Dainik Jagran, and the old data are given. So first, what you have to do? Uh, first, you have to uh, like uh, uh, with solving this problem. First thing you have to make like let uh, let us assume the uh, number of sample will be hundred. That means there were hundred newspaper. I am assuming. So so let us assume uh, the number of sample is hundred. Now the what next thing you have to do? You have to make a Venn diagram, and there were actually three newspapers, so you have to make a three circle here. So one circle, two circle, and this is the third circle. Okay. So the first uh, events I named as Times of India, second event named as Hindustan Times, and the third event named as DJ. So what I'm trying to say is there is a name. I I just naming the reasons C D. There is E, there is F, and there is Z. Okay. Now, according to the questions, let's write some equations and try to solve it. 
okay so the first thing is given a 42% of the people read times of india that means this is the region of the times of india a b e f right so what is given actually a plus b plus e plus f is is, is actually equal to 42 this is our equation one what the second thing is given uh, 51 percent of the people read hindustan times okay so the region of hindustan times is something look like b c d e so you are given it b plus c plus d plus e is equal to how much percent 51 percent okay uh, actually i take it uh, in uh, the number of sample as 100 so it will be counted as 51 only Okay, so this is our equation number two. Now let's move to the third uh, case. What is given? Sixty-eight percent of the uh, people read Danic Jagran. Okay, so there is a, this is the actual region of Danic Jagran. So it will be equal to uh, D plus E plus F plus G is equal to sixty-eight. This is our third equation. And now let's move on to the next problem. What is it? Uh, 30% of the uh, people read Times of India and Hindustan Times. Okay. So the 30% of the people read Times of India and Hindustan Times. That means B plus E. So the B plus E is equal to 30. Now what's the next condition is? The next condition is 28% of the people read ST and DZ. Okay. ST and DZ. That means D plus E is equal to 28%. Similarly, E plus F is equal to 36%. Okay. Now, uh, when I, uh, when I'm trying to find the, uh, uh, the value like A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F, and there is something, or one more thing even like, there's the 8% of the people who doesn't read any types of newspaper. Like, unke ghar pe newspaper aata hi hai. Aise bhi to log hote hai na, ghar pe newspaper nahi aata. They were happy with the television kind of thing, hai na? If it or other uh, sources or like radios okay, and all okay, if it, they prefer magazine as well and could be cases of I don't know, but unke ghar pe newspapers are okay. So the percentage of that kind of personality or the person is eight percent. Okay. So actually uh, there is something like uh, A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F is actually is equal to hundred minus of eight. Which is exactly 92. That means in Delhi, if we are uh, generalizing it to the 100 people, like I am assuming ki there is the 100 uh, people live in Delhi city. Okay. So what I am assuming ki eight, per, 8 people of them uh, for the not actually read any kinds of newspaper and the rest of 92 were at least read one newspaper of out of three okay so uh now uh let's move when you solve these whole equations it's actually easily solvable because uh something is given here 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 and here you can start uh, substituting one and one so you get the values of a b c d e f as something as a is equal to one b is equal to uh i think five c is equal to uh 18 and D is equal to 3, E is equal to 25, F is equal to uh, I think 11 and uh, G is equal to 20 of 9. Okay, so these are the value you get uh, on solving. I'm, I'm not going to solve this equation because it's easy, right? Uh, if you subtract this and this and then you, oh, if, if you add this and this or subtract this and this, so you get B minus D. And then you start substituting here and here in, in this and in this equation. Okay. So you can get the value as well. Okay. So let me write here solve once and then you get the values of variables are as a is equal to 1, B is equal to 5, C is equal to 18, D is equal to uh, 3 is equal to 20 of uh, 5, F is equal to 11 and G is equal to 20 of 9. Okay. So now on, so now on what I'm trying to say is, 
the first thing okay what's the first thing what i'm trying to say is ki the probability of uh, what we have to find is here he reads all the three newspaper that means we have to find the probability of a intersection of b intersection of c is equal to what so let us uh, look at the situation here so uh, we have to find ki jo teeno hi newspaper pad raha ho so that we are actually we already know that ki jo sare kaam jo sare event ek sath ho rahe hain uski jo region hai wo e hai so we have to take like e by 100 and the value of e is here 20 or 5 so 1 by 4 second so the second question is ki uh he reads newspaper okay to so wo newspaper pad raha hoga to wo to shayad humne yahi pe nikala tha which is 92% because 8% janta nahi pad rahi 92% pad raha so i am going to write directly its, its probability is 92 by 100 that means 0.92 that means ki uh city ke 92% log jo hai wo newspaper padhte hain and 8% of people uh, were not uh, reading any any, any kinds of newspaper okay uh, they may uh, read some other kinds of uh, things to update themselves with uh, the current news and all okay now uh, what's the third question is so so the third question is uh, he reads times of india he reads times of india but not hindustan times okay the third question is probability that he reads times of india but uh, but not hindustan times okay so let's go to the venn diagram he reads times of india but not hindustan times so a plus f is the region where uh, the region is outside the hindustan times so a plus f by 100 So the a plus f value is there is a is one and f is eleven. So twelve by hundred will equal to zero point one two. Let's move to the fourth question. What is the fourth question? Is he reads DJ but not HT and TOI? Okay. So let's move to the DJ. He reads DJ but na to wo HT padta hai na hi TOI padta. So only the G is the reason. Ah, uh, jahan pe aap sirf DJ pad sakte ho. so probability that he reads dainik jagran but not ht and toi so only g is the reason okay so g by 100 and what is the value of g is here a uh, 20 of 9 so it will be like 29 by 100 let's move to the fifth question so dekho ye kitna easy ho gaya na sare formula aapko yaad nahi karne hain bas aapko kuch equation solve karni hai and then humme sare reason ka pata chal gaya then you all know that ki how to use the reason hai na कौन क्या हो रहा नहीं हो रहा वो तो देख के पता चल रहा है इस इस डायग्राम से पता चल जा रहा ना कि क्या हो रहा नहीं हो रहा तो इट विल बी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ही रीड्स एग्जैक्टली वन ऑफ द न्यूज़पेपर ओके तो वो कोई एक न्यूज़पेपर तो पढ़ ही रहा है एग्जैक्टली वन बस एक अगर टीओआई पढ़ रहा तो एच टी एंड ये नहीं पढ़ रहा सो द ओनली रीजन इज ए प्लस सी प्लस जी ओके बिकॉज यहाँ पे देखो ये जो रीजन ना बी जो बी रीजन है उस रीजन में क्या है कि टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया एंड हिंदुस्तान टाइम्स दोनों पढ़ रहा ई इज द रीजन की तीनों न्यूज़पेपर पढ़ रहा एफ इज द रीजन की टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया एंड डीजे दोनों पढ़ रहा डी इज द रीजन लाइक हिंदुस्तान टाइम्स एंड डीजे दोनों पढ़ रहा बट ए सी एंड जी इज दी रीजन जहां पे एग्जैक्टली वन न्यूज पेपर पढ़ा जा रहा सो द प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट ही रीड्स एग्जैक्टली वन ऑफ द न्यूज is actually equal to uh, a plus c plus d and by 100 so let's uh, find the value so a is 1 z is 29 so 30 and uh, what is the value of c so 30 and plus 18 48 by 100 so this is the probability now let's six problem uh, what is it it is actually that he reads exactly two of the newspaper okay probability that he reads exactly two of the newspaper matlab uske ghar pe do newspaper aa rahi hain so let's find out the reason to kya hoga dekho reason kya hoga jo b reason hai na wo us like jo b reason hai it is representing the person who reads both times of india and hindustan times d is the reason which representing the people who read hindustan times and dainik jagran as well 
app is the region which representing the people reading times of india and dc as well so b plus d plus f b plus d plus f by 100 so the b uh, value is 5 d value is 3 and f value is 11 so there will be 19 by 100 so 0 0.19 so yeah this is the thing and this is the actually uh real life based problem and uh is the key problems you know who competitive level baby are you yeah take it he apne yeh sare probability with any of the and j means and uh goals like it may be are out there they advance with three questions neither then because uh they all know the history problems can asana na karma kya was a green diagram on any of the or was a situation was all for though just in sari variables ka value for the year फिर कुछ भी पूछ दे मेरे से मेरे को तो बस यहां बैठ के क्या करना है रीजनिंग तो ट्रेस करनी है ना द मेन थिंग्स वी हैव टू डू इज द मेन थिंग्स वी हैव टू डू इज ट्रेसिंग द रीजन ट्रेसिंग द रीजन एज अकॉर्डिंग टू अह क्वेश्चंस है ना जैसे भी क्वेश्चन दिया है बस उसके अकॉर्डिंग मेरे को क्या करनी है मेरे को बस रीजन को ट्रेस करनी है और तो कुछ करना ही नहीं है अब वो दो न्यूज़पेपर पढ़ रहा तो देखो बी डी and f is the region jahan pe do do newspaper padhe ja rahe hain bhai hai na so this is the thing that we have to do uh okay so uh let's uh, uh actually you already uh done uh, the permutations and combinations uh, chapter so let me add it to the probability and uh, and uh, get some question to it okay so this is actually the important question so you have to Solve this question and this question uh, owns by yourself. Okay, so it will be a uh, good practice question for you. Mm, okay, now let's take the uh, another question which uh, which actually based on uh, based on PNC. PNC that means permutation and combinations. Okay, so what I'm trying to uh, write here is uh, there is three of the Six vertices of a regular hexagon. Okay, so three of the six vertices of a regular hexagon is uh, selected at random and find the probability that a uh, triangle with three vertex is an equilateral triangle. So we have to find uh, find that uh, find that the probability that the triangle that the triangle uh, with uh, three vertices is an equilateral triangle okay so uh, this is the thing that you have to find so apne aisa kara hoga kabhi let me show you ki actually question kya hai i think uh, see the question is ki this is our actually hexagon okay and what I'm trying to do here is I am selecting three vertices random. So let us suppose this is our A vertex. This is B, this is C, this is D, this is E, and this is F. Okay, so there is six vertices. Okay. So what I'm trying to do is I'm selecting three vertices random. Let's suppose one, two, and these three vertices I selected. Okay. So you have to find the probability. Like if I add uh this vertex to this vertex so so the triangle f e d yeah for a f e is an equilateral triangle so that means this side is equal to this side we all know that this is actually a regular hexagon so but we have to find that this side is actually equal to that means a f is equal to e f is equal to a e. is it or is it not okay if I choosing uh, A, F and B as a three vertex, so it will be actually equal to this way. So my question is, ki, is triangle A, F, B is an equilateral triangle or not? The third thing is what we can do. We can add these and these vertices. That means A and C vertices. Similarly, what we can do, we can add these and these vertices. And then add these and these vertices. We can select now. Similarly, if I select B, C, and D vertices, okay. 
So this is the thing that randomly we have to select the three of the uh, vertices and uh, then we have to find कि जो हमने तीन वर्टिसेस सेलेक्ट करी हैं उससे क्या इक्विलैटरल ट्रायंगल फॉर्म हो रही है नहीं हो रही है ठीक है सो दिस इज द थिंग दैट वी हैव टू फाइंड नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट फाइंडिंग द नंबर ऑफ फेवरेबल आउटकम एंड नंबर ऑफ सैंपल एज वेल ओके सो लेट्स लेट्स टेक इट हियर सो द नंबर ऑफ equilateral triangle is equal to that means three sides selected such that no two are consecutive hai na apan ko teen side select karni hai such that no two are consecutive like do koi bhi sides honi chahiye na wo consecutive nahi honi chahiye so it forms it equilateral triangle so this is the actually concept and we all know that we all read in a uh, Combination and combination chapter, like uh, to select the two things which are not consecutive, which will be written as uh, n minus, which is actually r plus one c r minus, and there will be like uh, we'll count it as uh, r minus one, basically, or we can write it there like uh, n minus r minus one. We can say that, right? We can say that like the r n minus r minus one. Okay, and then we can do it from here. Is like uh, let us let me write it here. So r minus one c r minus one. We can write it here, and then here the r minus one c one whatever it's called. Okay, so this is the formula. I hope you all n minus r minus one. It will be maybe. So what is actually happening there when we apply the same formula here? So what is happening here? So let me erase it here and let's apply the formula here. Okay, so. <clears throat> So we have to select the three vertices. We have to select the three things so that the no two of them are consecutive. So it will be like six sides. We have to select the three n minus c n minus r plus one and uh, c r, and we have to subtract the uh, n minus r minus one. So two c two, and there will be the two c. So when we solve this, what we get? Uh, four c three minus here will be two. It will become as four minus two equal to two. Okay, so the required probability is exactly equal to number of uh, favorable event by number of sample. And look at here, there is the six sides, six vertices, and we have to select three. So this is the our actually number of sample and number of event will be two. And six C three value will be twenty. So we will get the probability as one by ten. So this is the probability that you select the three random vertices in a regular hexagon and uh, जो एक्सागोन बनेगा वो क्या होगी इट विल बी एक्चुअली इज इक्वल टू व्हाट इज इट इट्स एक्चुअली इज इक्वल टू इक्विलैटरल ट्राइंग ओके नाउ लेट्स टेक अ क्वेश्चन इट्स एन इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन लाई डिटेक्टर ठीक है आई होप यू ऑल लिसन समथिंग अबाउट द लाई डिटेक्टर लाइक uh so we have to uh use mathematics to find the light how much the light detector device is effective or not okay so this thing that we have to uh, understand and find it out okay so this is actually the uh, light detector test so uh let's take the something uh there is two person okay so let me make a question There is two person. Ah, uh, first person name is Ayan, and the second person name is Ah, uh, let Salini. Okay, so ah uh, here ah uh, is the case like Ayan ah uh, speaks truth in seventy five percent cases, है ना? Like अब एक general लोग हैं तो वो हमेशा सच नहीं बोलता ना? तो I am assuming कि जो Ayan जो है वो सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट जो बातें बोलता है ना वो सच बोलता है दैट मीन्स अगर उसने चार बातें बोली तो उसमें तीन बातें उसकी सही होंगी तभी तो थ्री बाई फोर लाइक सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट बातें सही हुई ना लाइक उसने अगर चार बातें बोली हैं तो उसमें एक बार उसने झूठ बोला है और बाकी तीन बातें क्या बोली है सही बोली एंड सालिनी स्पेक्स 
80 uh, percent uh, and Salinia speaks truth in 80 percent of the cases. Okay, uh, so you have to find what percentage of the cases are they likely to contradict each other stating the same fact. This is actually the real uh, analysis of problems. So you have to understand this. Uh, each other contradict each other stating uh, the same fact. Okay. So the actually baat ye hai ki yahan pe dekho do log hain uh, Ayan and Salini and according to the question ki ye jo hai na let us let me take the probability out of 100%. Okay. So what I'm trying to say is ki jo probability of Ayan ka jo sach bolne ka hai na wo 75 hai. That means 75 by 100. So I'm assuming it will be 3 by 4. And jo Salini ka jo sach bolne ka hai na that means probability of Salini it will be 80% मतलब uh, this will be equal to the 4 by 5 तो जो आयान का जो झूठ बोलने का percentage है जो probability है वो कितनी है 1 minus सच बोलने की so it will be 1 by 4 मतलब वो चार बातों में से एक बात झूठ बोलता है और जो probability of सालिनी है सालिनी का झूठ बोलने का कितना है 1 minus उसके सच बोलने का that means 1 minus 4 by 5 so 1 by 5 okay now we have to find the probability कि मान लो कि किसी एक कोई एक फैक्ट है जिस पे दोनों डिस्कशन कर रहे हैं तो ये अपनी पॉइंट रख रहा है यान एंड सालिनी अपनी पॉइंट रख रही है ठीक है सालिनी स्टेटिंग हर ओन पॉइंट आयान स्टेटिंग हिज ओन पॉइंट सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट और दे कंट्राडिक्ट ईच अदर अब नाउ द थिंग्स इज कि कंट्राडिक्शन आएगा कब तो कंट्राडिक्शन देखो अगर दोनों ही अगर सच बात बोलेंगे अगर दोनों ही सच बात बोलेंगे तो कोई कंट्राडिक्शन नहीं आएगा बिकॉज ठीक है अगर एक सच बोल रहा एक झूठ बोल रहा तभी तो कंट्राडिक्शन आ रही ना दिस इज द थिंग दैट यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड अगर दोनों ही झूठ बोले तब भी कोई कंट्राडिक्शन नहीं है क्योंकि लाइक लेट एक्चुअली व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से इज कि लेट मी सपोज अ फैक्ट what uh, okay okay so actually what i'm trying to say is ki, let me suppose a fact that uh, ayan is saying ki manchester united wins the last match uh, wins the last last match against liverpool but Salini stating that no Man United uh, lose the uh, last match against Liverpool. So this is actually the contradiction. Okay. Agar ab in the nomase kon such bolra, kon good chud bolra me kobi ni pata. But one is stating that Ayan is stating that Manchester United ne last match mein Liverpool ko hara diya tha. But Salini is saying that no, Manchester United ne Liverpool ko last match mein nahi hara tha. So this is actually the contradiction. Ab ek sach bol raha ek jhoot bol raha. Ya to Ayan sach bol raha hai, to Salini jhoot bol rahi. Agar Salini sach bol rahi, to Ayan jhoot bol raha. Hai na? This is the actually case. Analyze the situation. What I am trying to say that. I am saying कि दोनों में से कोई एक झूठ बोल रहा तभी तो contradiction हो रही ना या तो Manchester United ने सच में Liverpool को हरा दिया होगा या तो आयान सच बोल रहा साले नहीं झूठ बोल रही या फिर सच में Manchester United ने Man जो Man United team है उसने Liverpool को नहीं हराया वो खुद ही हार गया है ना I mean Liverpool ने Manchester United को हरा दिया तो साले नहीं is right so there is a contradiction if both of the आयान and the साले नहीं अगर ये स्टेट कर रहे होते कि हाँ लास्ट वाले मैच पे ना मैनचेस्टर यूनाइटेड ने लिवरपूल को हरा दिया या फिर दोनों ही झूठ बोल रहे होते कि मैनचेस्टर यूनाइटेड ने लिवरपूल से जो लास्ट वाले मैच है ना वो हार गया या तो दोनों सच बोल रहे हैं दोनों झूठ बोल रहे हैं तो कंट्रेडिक्शन नहीं आ रही है लेकिन अगर एक कुछ स्टेटमेंट कुछ और स्टेट कर रहा दूसरा बंदा कुछ और स्टेट कर रहा तो वहां पर क्या ना कंट्रेडिक्शन हो रही है सो वॉट वी हैव टू एक्चुअली फाइंड इनडायरेक्टली वी हैव टू फाइंड की प्रोबेबिलिटी की 
अयान झूठ बोल रहा तो प्रोबेबिलिटी की सालिनी सच मतलब ट्रूथ बोल रही मतलब सच बोल रही सेम एज की सालिनी झूठ बोल रही तो अयान सच बोल रहा एंड बोथ वर इंडिपेंडेंट इवेंट सो दे प्रोबेबिलिटी सिंपल गिवेन अयान झूठ बोल रहा तो वन बाई फोर एंड सालिनी सही बोल रही तो फोर बाई फाइव आई थिंक है ना फोर बाई फाइव एंड प्लस वेन सालिनी झूठ बोल रही तो अयान सच बोल रहा दैट मीन्स वन बाई फाइव इंटू थ्री बाई फोर सो वेन यू सॉल्व दिस वट यू विल गेट यू विल गेट ट्वेंटी सेवन बाई ट्वेंटी and you have to find that uh, percentage of cases of contradiction so it will be equal to 7 by 20 we, we are assuming the out of 100% am earlier told you in question so it will be 7 by 20 into 100 so it will be equal to 30 of 5% so in 35 in, in 35% of the cases uh kyunki dekho ab ye sach bolti hai wo jhoot bolta hai wo ye bhi jhoot bolta hai ye bhi sach bolti hai kyunki dekho ऐसा नहीं है ना कि अगर ऐसा होता है कि अयान 100 परसेंट सच बोलता है मतलब वो जितनी बातें बोलता है सच ही बोलता है तो ऑब्वियसली बात है ये जो भी बात बोल रहा वो सच ही बोल रहा है ना तो कोई केसेस ही नहीं आते अयान तो कभी झूठ बोल ही नहीं सकता ना तो वो जो बोल रहा है क्या बोल रहा सच बोल रहा है तो दिस इज द केस एक्चुअली की कंट्राडिक्शन ये आपको समझ आता है कि कंट्राडिक्शन कब होता है जब एक झूठ बोल रहा एक सच बोल रहा लेकिन हमें पता नहीं है कि कौन झूठ बोल रहा है कौन सच बोल रहा है ना इट माइट भी कि अयान झूठ बोल रहा हो कि लिवरपूल से मैच मतलब जीत गए हम या फिर ये हो सकता है कि सालिनी झूठ बोल रही कि लिवरपूल ने मैन यूनाइटेड को हरा दिया ओके सो दिस आर केसेस यू हैव टू लर्न की कंट्राडिक्शन कब होती है एंड एक्चुअली डिट नो बट वी हैव टू जस्ट फाइंड कि ऐसा परसेंटेज ऑफ केस बताओ जब दोनों में कंट्राडिक्शन हो रहा मतलब एक झूठ एक सच बोल रहा है तो वी आर जस्ट चेकिंग केस की फर्स्ट टाइम ए झूठ मतलब अयान झूठ बोल रहा एंड सेकेंड टाइम की सालिनी झूठ बोल रही okay so these are the thing that we have to understand okay so that's all for today's guys uh, in next class we will dealing with some more interesting problem <laughs> these are actually real life problem right ye jitne aaj maine problem discuss kare na like newspaper distribution ho gaya ya fir triangle ya fir pnc wagaira ka use ho gaya fir light detector ho gaya ye sare real life mein actually implement ho rahi hoti hai theek hai so these are the uh, actually the uh, kya usko bol sakte ho Uh, applications of probability in real life, okay? जो भी आपने जो भी इलेवेंथ क्लास में पढ़े होंगे वी आर लर्न सम न्यू टॉपिक्स इन हेयर बट वी आर मोस्टली ऑन यूज सम ऑफ दी दो टॉपिक बट उसके जो है ना एप्लीकेशन ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी है वो यहाँ पे दिख रहा है कि रियल लाइफ में उसको कैसे यूज करा जाता है सो ओके दैट्स ऑल फॉर टूडेज इन नेक्स्ट क्लास वी डीलिंग विद मोर प्रॉब्लम्स एंड कॉन्सेप्ट एज वेल Thank you